nations uh, in Jerusalem. And uh, when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples, they uh, were given the gift of the ability to speak in different tongues. And so it's most fitting today that uh, we represent together the international nature, the, the, the inclusive nature of the Church of God and uh, the joy that He brings to us as we gather with people, uh, a diverse group of people, to give them the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, it crumbs, uh, scripture passage for today is uh, Romans chapter 8, verses 14 through 17. Let's listen to God's word. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but rather you received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father. It is that very spirit, very witness with our spirit, that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If, in fact, we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And it is my great pleasure to invite the <coughs> I am from a tribe in South Sudan called Heban. And Heban is uh, the region of Nuba Mountain. Before Islamic and Christianity come to Nuba Mountain, they were, the people were agnostic. They believe was big God somewhere out there. But he was completely unknowable un un to them. At the time, they, they tried to ask him for them, for the field, but in general, they are afraid of him. To them, he was a scary God. There is no relationship, no name, no mercy, no love. No hope. There are many religions in the world. And there are many names for God. For example, in Islamic, there is 99 names for God. Also in Christian, there are many different names used to describe God. Here are some of the better <coughs> names of God in the Bible. God Almighty. God the Lord will provide. The Lord who heals. The Lord our Bible. The Lord who sacrifices. The Lord of peace. The Lord our righteousness. The Lord our shepherd. The Lord is there. The Lord of hosts, the, the most high, God of sin, everlasting God, mighty God, King of King, Lord of Lord. All this name is important in many ways, but the most personal name of God is Abba Father. It is one of the most significant name of God in an understanding how God related to the human being. The word of our father in Aramaic was the meaning daddy. It use, we use it, this name, daily life to describe our father. It painting a picture of close intimate relationship between father and a child. And so all human beings create in the likeness an image of God. But we are all, and all them, God loves them, but we are not all 
children of God. We are all under his authority, lordship, and we are all judged by him. But not all his children. In First John chapter 1, 12, yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in him, he give the right to believe or to become a children of God. In our reading today, there is a beautiful picture that captures the reality of the relationship. You become a child of God by the work of the Holy Spirit, not by attending church every Sunday or by singing in choir or doing visitation or by tithing and well, free well offering or by nothing, yes, except by the work of the Spirit. These things are all good, but cannot make us children of God. Adapt, adaption happened certainly by God's grace. The Spirit opened our heart to receive God's saving grace. Otherwise, the heart is like empty bottle cannot be filled. In this, we see God what was always his time, his people to be blessed and his name to be glorified. Being a child of God has nothing to do with who we are or what we have done. It is based on what God the Father has done for us. Our adoption happened before the foundation of the world and defined our new identity. This is we see in a vision one for. Unfortunately, the sin destroyed our relationship with God and one another. After Adam and Eve sinned, they were naked, shamed, afraid, separate, and, his, and they hidden from God. Many of us today are doing, are going through trial, feeling sick, the grace, dishonor, Installed, shame, embarrassing, confused, and abuse. Maybe we are the one hurt other. We are hurt from evil song against one another. We commit evil act against one another. But we neglect the most important command to love God and one another. Our faith in Jesus Christ happened when the grace of God and the work of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit set us free from the sin. We are not longer a slave to sin. We are children of God. In verse 16, the Spirit himself testified with our the spirit, we are children of God. This relationship was and is and it will be. It happened in the world, in the past in Genesis chapter 1, 26, when God asked, when the God said, let us make the human being in our image and in our likeness. Also, it happened when God asked Adam, where are you? It is now true, as Revolution state, state, I am at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and open the door, I will come and eat with the person and they with me. Jesus 
show his relationship with, will be in present in the future. In John 14, 3, he said, I will come, I will come and take you to be with me that also may be forever. Or God wants us to be with him when he's coming back. And Paul said in verse 17, we may also share in his glory. According to God's promise, if we are if we belong to God, we are the children of Abraham. In Galatians 3, 28, there is no, there is neither Jews or Gentile. Neither is there narrow or free. Narrow is there male or female. We are all one in Christ. We all belong to God. Friend, <coughs> let us not forget to come before God. Lord. Remember, nothing will separate us from the love of God. As the children of God, let us live in the human life with Christ as new creation. With new opportunity in the presence of, of, of our Lord. Let us focus on God's love by trusting in God and His love and His justice. God always loves us, no matter who, how we are, not what we do. As a father, his child, Christ redeems love, fill us with the power the Holy Spirit. We become God, we belong to God. We are more than Christian. We are more than believer. We are children of God. Children that zoom out of the yard, graveyard of shame and problem into the light of God. Resurrection promise in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.